Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Unlocking Excellence. I'm your host, Coach E, Eric Schwefel, and we're coming at you with a new episode today. So y'all, before we get into it, please, please, please like, share, subscribe this podcast out, especially if you enjoy it, if you haven't already, would love to get a review from you, whether it's on iTunes or whatever platform that you're listening to this on Y'all, today, it's, it's a little bit different, right? And I say it's a little bit different because we have a, a second podcast coming out this week, and this one is a story. Yes, a story. So I love telling stories. To give you a little bit of a background, for a long, long time, right, when I, when I train people, right, in our group, group classes and everything like that, we give a little bit of motivation to start, whether it's elaborating on a quote or telling a story like this or even telling a story, a victory of a client, or even a victory in my own life, or something, a, per, a personal story. And the reason that I tell that is, man, storytelling is just, it's incredible. Like there is, to, to me personally, there's maybe just a few, a few other effective ways to learn, right, that, are, that may be more effective than storytelling, but storytelling is definitely one of the most effective ways to learn. And the reason that I say that, right, is because it's a story. It's something that engages you and envelops you it stimulates you and this is the way that humans learn man we didn't always have paper and computers and all this digital stuff that we have now like we literally told stories word of mouth and that's how books were were first like transferred right like it was word of mouth so it's really really something that goes back all the way to the the beginning of the human race it's it's stories man and stories they help elaborate on language. They teach you new words. They allow you to feel things and experience things that you may not have experienced or felt before. So my objective and my intention here with these new stories is going to be to deliver some insight, right? And to maybe teach a story that you could, you can use to motivate others, to motivate yourself or whatever it might be. I promise I'm not going to have as long of an introduction on these as I'm, as I'm going to have on other podcasts, but today's story, man, it's a good one. So it's called the obstacle is the path. And I'm going to get into it here in just a second. But if you're distracted right now, take a moment and it's just going to be a few minutes to sit down and right here, right now, if you're not sitting down or if you're driving, then you're already sitting close your eyes for me. And if you're driving, don't close your eyes, but take a few deep breaths, right? So closing your eyes, sitting back in your chair, relaxing, and then go ahead, take a nice deep breath. Inhale, hold for a few seconds and then exhale. Now you probably are asking yourself, why is this guy asking me to breathe, right? Inhale through the nose, hold for a second or two, and then exhale through the mouth. And the reason that I'm asking you to breathe is so that we can really ground you just for a few minutes so that we can hear the wisdom in this story. Inhale in through the nose and then exhale in through the mouth. All right, cool. So the obstacle is the path, right? In ancient times, a king had his men place a boulder on a roadway. The king then hid in the bushes and wanted to see if anyone would move the boulder out of the way. Now, this king was very strange, right, in the sense of he didn't act like a normal king. He did all of his kingly duties, but he also liked to see what the character, and he also wanted to see what the personalities of his people were like. He was very involved. Some of the king's wealthiest merchants and courtiers passed by and simply walked around it. You see, what the king knew is that he needed to surround himself with those who would actually take action that would move things and that would go forward. But it doesn't really tend to happen, right? So many people blame the king for not keeping the roads clear, but none of them did anything about it to get the stone removed. They all just walked walked around it. If something was there, even though it was way out of their path, they would just go around it instead of doing anything. So one day a peasant came along, and he was carrying vegetables, and he was just walking, minding his own business. It was a beautiful day, and the sun was out, and He saw this rock that was there. So as he approached it, he laid down his food and he laid down everything that he was carrying and it really intrigued the king. You see, the king had never seen this before. Somebody setting down their food and whatnot to 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 look at the boulder. So the king, he he had some he had some fire, he was smiling, he was ready. 
So the peasant laid down his burden. He laid down the vegetables and he tried to push the stone away. And after much straining and much pushing, he finally managed. You see that the, the, the way that the boulder was set up, it was in the middle of the path. It was in the middle of the bridge that went to the city. So it was very hard to go in and out of the city. In fact, it was so close to the edge. The boulder was so close to the edge that one little bitty misstep, like walking on the edge of a skyscraper, you would fall. So after the peasant went back to pick up his vegetables, he noticed a purse that was lying in the road and it had been where the boulder was. And the purse contained many coins and it contained a note. The king explained that the gold was for the person who removed the boulder from the road. The king didn't even show himself. He just left a purse full of gold coins there in the road for the peasant to see. So y'all, what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is every obstacle that we come across gives us an opportunity to improve our circumstances. Let me say that again. Every obstacle that we come across gives us the opportunity to improve our circumstances. While the lazy complain, others are creating opportunities through their kind hearts, through their generosity, and through their willingness to get things done. The obstacle is the way. A lot of times, the big boulder in our lives is fear. It's something that we're putting off. It's something that we're procrastinating. And it's something that we don't want to give our attention or our focus to because we're afraid. It's okay to be afraid. It gives you the opportunity to be brave, to be courageous, to have that intention to move forward and face your fear. If you don't face and confront your fear, you will develop anger, and resentment, you will live in pain and misery, and you will blame others for that which you must remove in your life. And when you do remove that boulder that's blocking you, not only will your day improve, but everyone who comes across you will notice the difference because the boulder, the obstacle, is no longer there. So in helping yourself, you help hundreds, if not thousands of people along the way. I hope you have a great day. I love you. You're unstoppable. And remember, the obstacle is the path. We'll talk soon. Peace.